Authoritarian governments killing, kidnapping, interrogating, and harassing dissenters, and crossing sovereign boundaries to do so. New data reveals it's a growing problem across the globe. The details are the latest report from Freedom House, a self-described civil liberties and human rights organization. The group warns of governments looking around the world for political activists, journalists, and other foreign nationals in order to silence them. According to Freedom House, more than 20 percent of the world's governments have reached outside of their borders to carry out assassinations, attacks, abductions, and more. The worst offenders, according to the report, were China, Russia, Turkey, Tajikistan, and Egypt. Between 2014 to 2023, more than 1,000 recorded incidents of so-called transnational repression worldwide. The documented acts committed by dozens of governments. China alone was responsible for 25 percent of all cases. And even with all that, Freedom House says the number of cases is likely understated. Some of the most notable acts of violence in just the last year include the alleged assassination of a Sikh activist in Canada and attempted assassination of another in the U.S. The U.S. and Canadian authorities accuse India of perpetrating the acts. Russia is accused of at least 18 incidents in 2023 targeting anti-war activists and critics with imprisonment and interrogation. Russian intelligence is reported to have ordered the assassination of a helicopter pilot who had been using a false identity in Spain after defecting to Ukraine. Police say attackers shot him six times, killing him. China is accused of targeting nationals abroad, with CCP officials threatening dissidents through police stations secretly operated in other countries. As previously reported by Straight Arrow News, the FBI raided one of the outposts in New York City last fall. China reportedly operates around 100 secret police outposts in Japan, Taiwan, Ireland, Canada, France, and several other countries. And Iran has long targeted journalists. London police investigated threats against Iran International TV, which forced the station to relocate to Washington temporarily. The report's authors caution, without action, these acts will spread. Freedom House recommends safeguards against advancing surveillance used to track journalists and human rights activists. Advocates want the U.S. to create a licensing system to identify countries targeting dissidents abroad and to train law enforcement to recognize transnational repression.